An experiment is conducted to investigate the relationship between the wavelength of light incident on a metal and the maximum kinetic energy of the emitted electrons from the surface of the metal. This experiment is conducted for three different metals, uh, namely iron, copper, and gold. And then 10.1 says, state in words uh, what the photoelectric effect is uh, for two marks. Uh, that's just basically the, the definition of photoelectric effect, right? Uh, which says that it is the process whereby electrons are ejected from a metal surface when light of a suitable frequency is incident on the metal surface. It's a process whereby electrons are ejected from a metal surface when light of a suitable frequency is incident on the metal surface. And then 10.2 says, uh, write down the name of the physical quantity or quantities represented by the gradient of the graphs, right? So now what we have to do here is to find an equation for this graph, right? We know that the energy is equal to the Planck constant multiplied by the frequency. But we also know that uh, this energy can be equal to the work function plus EK, right? So these two things that I'm circling are equals to each other. So in our graph here, uh, we have one divided by wavelength as our X and the maximum kinetic energy as our Y. So in this formula that we have here, we have to make um the maximum kinetic energy the subject of the formula so we're gonna have ek uh this is ek max right ek max uh being equals to h multiplied by f minus the work function but we know fully well that on our graph we have one divided by wavelength right we can say that the frequency is equal to the speed of light divided by the wavelength right so that is equal to c multiplied by one divided by wavelength so in our equation we can now say that ek max is equal to um, h multiplied by c multiplied by one divided by wavelength minus the work function so now you can see that uh, this will be your y and then this here is going to be uh, your m and one divided by wavelength is going to be your x and then minus work function is going to be your c so we have y equals to mx plus c we are interested on the gradient of the graph right so we can now tell that the gradient of the graph is uh, the Planck's constant and the speed of light right so you can see h and c and then you get your two marks and now we can go to 10.3 10.3 says that which of the three metals needs incident light with the largest frequency for photo electrons to be emitted give a reason for the answer we have already said that the frequency is equal to the speed of light divided by the wavelength which you can also write as the frequency being equal to the speed of light multiplied by one divided by wavelength so we basically multiply in these two numbers right so the bigger one divided by wavelength then the more frequency is required so when we go to our graph here uh, which one is the bigger value for one divided by wavelength clearly is gold because it's here right uh, it has a value of uh, between two and 1.5 so here uh, the metal uh, that will require the largest frequency for photoelectrons to be emitted is going to be gold right why are we saying gold we say in gold because the frequency is equal to the speed of light divided by the wavelength and clearly gold has uh, the highest value of one divided by wavelength right and then now we can move to 10.4 10.4 says the symbol x in the above graph represents the work function of iron 
they don't even have to tell us, right? We can already tell because we have this equation here. And then it goes on to say that if the work function uh, for ion is 9.945 times 10 to the minus 34 joules, calculate the maximum velocity of an emitted electron from the surface of ion if the wavelength of the incident light is 9 times 10 to the minus 11 um, meters. So again, we have the energy uh, being equals to H multiplied by F uh, being equals to the work function plus EK max. So here we are asked to find uh, the velocity of an emitted electron, right? So EK max uh, will be equals to 1 divided by 2 mv squared because that's the equation for uh, kinetic energy, right? So now we have H multiplied by F uh, being equals to the work function plus 1 divided by 2 mv squared. So what we're looking for here is this v, right? So let's try and make uh, v the subject of the formula. So we can take uh, this term here to the left hand side. If we do that, we're going to get uh, h multiplied by f minus the work function is equal to half mv squared. So now we can divide everything by half m and take the square root, right? So we're going to find that our v is supposed to be h multiplied by f minus the work function divided by half m and then everything to the power 1 divided by 2. So now it's just a matter of substituting our values in v equals to this expression here and then we get uh, the maximum velocity of the emitted electron. So let's go ahead and do that. So here we're going to have uh, the value of h is a constant uh, that is 6.67 times 10 to the minus 34 and then uh, what is the frequency? Uh, let me look here. Uh, we don't have the frequency, right? But we have one uh, divided by wavelength, uh, which is somewhere around here, just uh, before 0 0.5, right? So let's that, let's estimate that value to be 0 0.4 because we're not really sure what it is. So here we can have multiplied by uh, the speed of light, which is 3 multiplied by 10 to the power 8. Uh, divided by 0 0.4 times 10 to the minus 8. Where is the minus 8 coming from? I uh, look here where I'm cycling in yellow, right? Is uh, multiplied by 10 to the minus 8 uh, meters to the minus 1. So now uh, we have that. So let's go ahead and uh, subtract the work function, right? We are told that the work function is 9.8. 945 times 10 to the minus 34 and then there we have it now we're supposed to divide everything by uh half m right so let me just yeah so we're gonna have half uh, the mass of an electron which is 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 yeah i think that is correct and then everything to be to the power of uh, 1 divided by 2. So V is going to be equals to. Let me just put that in my calculator real quick. So I'm getting 10.48 times 10 to the 7 uh, meter per second, right?